What's up, everyone? I have three new good questions for you today. Um, but first, real quick, I wanted uh, to update you on what's happening with the new Inspired and Truth book. I'm about halfway done, so uh, hopefully I'll have it finished within the next, like, two months or so, and I can start posting that. Uh, I'm also going to be doing uh, some extra content for you guys uh, in the form of an evidence log that Abby will be keeping. So um, that should be some good insight into, you know, her personality, her character, and then also what she does for the council, you know, how she keeps track of everything and how they solve their cases and work on them and, and some of that good stuff. So you can look for that hopefully pretty soon and uh, I'll keep you guys updated as I get further. All right, so um, the questions that I have today are about the scenes that I posted for the new book that I will probably be writing after uh, the Inspired and Truth book. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Question number one, what's the background for the new apocalyptic book? So the background for that is basically uh, that the medical field was capitalized and monopolized to the point of extreme corruption, um, you know, and they started basically taking advantage of people that came in for medical procedures and implanting these control chips, any kind of medical procedure, really, anything that they could, you know, make a viable excuse for putting these control chips in. And uh, they don't necessarily need to be in the brain or anything like that. So um, there's that. And uh, I haven't exactly worked out, you know, all the politics and everything, but uh, politics and government were definitely involved. And uh, in on this plot or taken over by the corporations that were uh, taking over this medical field. <clears throat> um, so you'll find out more about that. And then, uh, you know, Harper, obviously her background is that she was a soldier in the war. Um you know, there was a war before everything else went down and the world fell apart. So, um, still working out details, <laughs> you know, the major, the major and minor details I haven't started planning out or plotting too much. So, um, but yeah, she was injured in the war, obviously, and you'll find out how and how that still affects her. But, um, yeah, I can't really say too much uh, yet because <laughs> I don't have too much planned out exactly, you know, just, um, fragments of plot details in my head. Um, but maybe I will revisit this question later and give you a more solid answer about the background. <laughs> All right, question number two. Do you have any ideas for a sequel? At uh, this point in time, I do not have any ideas for a sequel uh, for this one. I barely have this one figured out. Uh, I haven't really started thinking about it or mapping it out or planning it or anything like that. So I have no ideas for a sequel <laughs> yet. But um, I don't know. It's possible. We'll see what happens after I finish, after I finish it. So... Question number three. Do you have any actresses in mind for Sloane and Harper? I do. Yeah. Um, so for Harper, I picture Monica Raymond. She was, I think, in Chicago Fire. Um, I never really watched the show, but she, in my mind, is a, is a good Harper. So uh, you can look her up if you want to. Um, and for Sloane, I imagine Rinko Kikuchi, who was the actress in Pacific Rim. She was just, like, super badass, and she would totally make a good Sloan, I think. So, uh, yeah. I mean, if you guys have better ideas or you want to throw out some suggestions, definitely let me know. I'm open to seeing who you guys would imagine. All right, those are the three questions that I had for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. No, that's not good. I'm going to start with the same thing. Can't come up with anything original. I should start telling a joke. Every time I open one of these things, a really stupid joke. Good. I'm out. Peace.